Yo, what's up? My name is Director Pat, and after achieving the giraffe on a treadmill, half of my dungeon defender's goals are completed, which ends up leaving my notepad document look a little something like this. Which, you know what? I'm not a huge fan of. I don't want to have one goal to just log on and grind every single day, just grinding for levels. That's not very fun. That's not very exciting. I want goals to swap between, to switch between, and mix things up. With a game like Dungeon Defenders, it's such a wildly deep game that you can probably play it, you know, 10 hours a day and never burn out because there's so many things to do. The issue is, I am a new player. I'm bad. I have to figure out what those things to do are. Today, this is going to be a special episode where I am solely going to be working on finding goals and making goals in Dungeon Defenders. Goals are super important in any long-term game, and they're definitely important in Dungeon Defenders. This episode is not going to be for everybody. It's going to be a lot of talking, strategizing, going through the wiki, going through YouTubers and other pieces of content and videos and sort of figuring out, hey, what do I want to do in this game? First things first though, I want to look through my own game and see what goals I may have just lying around. For example, I want to figure out what is going on in this room there are pieces of text that pop up there's clearly some sort of puzzle here and i don't know what it is so that's first things first goal number two i will be keeping uh the notepad document on the right side over here so let's go ahead and add solve upstairs puzzle there you go maybe mystery is the better word now i don't know how many goals i'm actually gonna set that'll kind of just be up for interpretation we'll see what happens Another great way to set goals in any game is by checking the achievements and seeing what you want to achieve within there. There's definitely a bunch of things that I want to achieve here on the way by just playing the game naturally. I don't really want to add any of those. I want to add like end game goals that I really want to shoot for specifically. Things like completing, completing all area two levels on hard. That might just happen over time. I'm not really worried about that. Now, something like store 15 mana in your bank. That is something that happens over time. However, I do think having some sort of endgame mana goal is probably a really cool one to shoot for. Now we do have Mythical Defender here. Complete every mission on the original campaign on Nightmare Difficulty. Are you a god? Question mark. I really like the idea. I've already been working on. I already have a goal that I haven't even been thinking about. Finish campaign on insane difficulty will be one for sure as well as nightmare difficulty i'm definitely happy to go ahead and add that as well i'm just going to write them like this so they fit and look nice i'll know what they mean i'm a huge survival fan i definitely want this achievement as well reach sur uh, survival wave 15 on hard difficulty that's a pretty short-term goal i could do that pretty quickly uh, but i am going to go ahead and write that down all right, the only mana achievement i could find is the one that says stored 15 million mana in your bank is that really enough mana of like a big achievement goal i'm already at 10 mil mana i don't see that being too difficult as long as i just keep playing i think it's kind of cool and interesting to shoot for something more but at the same time if i'm being totally honest with myself i think i do just want to do it for the achievement i think later it might be cool to shoot shoot towards 100 mil mana in the bank really like later on um and i'm sure for like super high end game players that's nothing maybe that's even super easy but for now i will write down 15 mil and then maybe 100 mil later all right there we are 15 slash 100 mil mana at some point there's also an achievement for almost every single challenge in dungeon defenders so i want to complete all challenges as well as i've started this a little bit but failed miserably i want to complete uh, the Misty Meyer DLC. How do I want to type this? I'll just do DLC. Obviously, there's more DLCs that aren't just the Misty Meyer DLC. But when I type that, when I see that, I know I need. I mean the DLC. For stuff like this, you definitely just need to jot down some notes. As long as you understand, that'll work. All right, but I'm done looking through the in-game and done looking through the achievements and everything. What is next? Next up, I still have to watch some videos and I still have to browse through the wiki. Just because I'm setting all of these goals doesn't mean I necessarily need to achieve them all. It's just different little activities and different little quests to jump around and go to. And I constantly recommend that I constantly say it's so important to have multiple goals at one time to switch it up whenever you're feeling burnt out or frustrated or stuck on something. It's really fantastic to be able to switch around activities. Now, browsing through the wiki for some goals, we come across some pretty insane stuff, one of which being the treadmill on a treadmill pet. This is probably the most insane 
difficulty, challenge, goal, whatever that I'm going to add to my list. And I'm going to tell you right now, there's a really good chance I never get this one. But I think it's a really, 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 really cool goal. The issue is this takes so much time and it seems really, really, really wildly difficult. Let me run you down you through like what you have to be able to do. Uh, the treadmill on a treadmill is a high-end builder pet, which would be perfect for my Squire build. It's rewarded for completing the hidden puzzle in Moon Base, one of the most difficult maps in the game, probably the most difficult from what I'm seeing. Score exactly 42 on Dance Dance Revolution mini game, and then finishing the map on Nightmare Difficulty. So you have to do one of the most difficult maps in the entire game on Nightmare Difficulty. Do some hidden puzzle. I don't know what difficult that is. Do a Dance Dance mini Revolution game, um, and then yeah, then you can get it. Maybe it's easier than I. Expected. Expect. Um, the stats on this thing seem absolutely absurd when you look at it. Like 60, 655 plus tower attack, 677 AoE. This is just, these stats are unbelievable. Plus, you can level it up something like two, like this has 232 level ups. This is sells for 18 million mana. This is endgame dungeon defenders, which I'm excited to reach. All right, a pretty easy to go out and go out and throw up there because I think it's a huge part of experiencing everything that Dungeon has, Dungeon Defenders has to offer is play every character. I think trying out every single character is going to be super important. And then also get uh, four pairs to level 70. I think there's an achievement for getting the original uh, four. So I think it's the apprentice, the huntress, the monk, and the squire. I think if you get those four to level 70, you get an achievement for that. So that's an easy goal to mark down as well. I couldn't really find any YouTube videos on setting goals or honestly on a lot of endgame Dungeon Defenders 1 content, sadly. So I'm just going to be sticking to the wiki. Now, there is an important section that I want to check out. This is the pet section. I really like pets. I think they're one of the coolest parts of Dungeon Defenders. I think it's really cool to look through them and see, hey, which ones do I want to collect? Pet hunting and pet collecting, probably an underrated activity in Dungeon Defenders. Even to the extent where I'll go ahead and make an entire new section called Pets to collect and we will go ahead and even move treadmill on a treadmill down to that section and we'll give it its own little section of the goal similar to short-term goals all right i went ahead and opened up a window for each kind of pet that i care about going over the hero the hero enemy pets whatever the survival rewards the challenge rewards the achievement rewards and the non-conventional pets i'll probably check out the exclusive pets too uh redux for my understanding is just a like add-on i believe this is like a huge add-on that people add to dungeon defenders um in sort it's like a huge mod that overhauls the game um i might look into that like really really far down the line but honestly right now i have zero interest in it seems very cool seems very awesome more power to those who play it i feel like i'm too far from that i feel like i have a long way to go before i can actually even worry about that Let's first look at the, I'm going to call it the anime heroes. Why not? Because I don't know what else to call it. So the anime heroes, first things first, we can go ahead and go over them. I think these are just the normal. Yeah, these are the Squire Guardians. Of the, okay, it goes in order. We'll go ahead and scroll down. Uh, the Apprentice Animus. Uh, Fires of Blue, the Ultra Unique. Defeat the Ancient Dragon as an apprentice on insane difficulty. Gotcha. So these are literally just the same reward. Okay, these are the same reward as these upper level things you get them from defeating the final level of course defeating the ancient dragon you get the anime versions the little weeb versions of course from defeating it on insane difficulty okay that's actually pretty easy to remember i'll definitely want to go ahead and do that all right there you go squire anime as you can see insane dragon that'll let me know everything i need to know about that pet now on to survival reward pets. Obviously, I talk about it all the time. I love survival. It's easily my favorite way to play the game. So if there are some cool survival rewards, I want to shoot for them. This is Deeper Well on 15. So yeah, I almost forgot about this. I am definitely going to want to do every single level, get to wave 15. We're going to write that down for sure. Um, get, and we can write it under pets, I guess, but it's more so about the everything about it. Um, get wave... 15 survival all maps every single map i want to get to wave 15 survival that is definitely super important to me that's a really cool goal in my opinion and i i'm the survival guy it's really fun to me or at least i aim to be the survival guy i'm obviously not quite there yet i'm not quite good enough uh pretty far from that so we'll go down wave 15 wave 15 that's all these pets there's a bunch of pets where you need uh to do that uh here's the giraffe on a treadmill 
Default reward for clearing the final of the most survivals. Never sold by the tavern keep. That's interesting. Uh, Nessie. What is this, Pat? Now we get something cool. Wait a minute. Uh, defeat the deeper well on wave 25 on easy difficulty. Extra base stats. Obtain the pets. Really? Oh, man. Okay. So that is going to be... We, got, we definitely got to add that. That's not a Dread Dungeon. This is not Redux. Yeah, we can do this whenever. Okay. Wow. Okay, well, we got to go for Nessie then for sure. It's funny because I, tr I tried to do Deeper Well um, on... And I couldn't. I failed it actually miserably. So I'm going to write down Nessie and we're going to do uh, Defeat. We're going to do Deep Well wave 25 that'll let us know there you go that's all i need um but i tried to do if you guys have already seen this episode you've probably seen the previous episode i tried to do deeper well to wave 25 and i failed miserably so that'll be a tough one to go back and try to do and then we have some dlc pets and these are dlc survival pets uh for example the shroomite get wave 15 on misty meyer forest yeah i think that'll just be uh you know part of yeah, I'm just going to count that as part of what I already have written down. Get wave 15 survival on all maps. And when I say all maps, I'll even do this. I mean all maps. Uh, I definitely would love to go for that. Survival is my favorite thing. That'll be that'll be a cool goal. Seems like a lot of these pets are pretty much the same, except for this one. The seahorse is we reach wave 20. Um, but honestly, I don't really care for the look of the seahorse, so I'm just not going to worry about it. Uh, Sky City Propeller Cat. That's kind of interesting. Uh, Supreme and Redox. Once again, not super familiar with the differences. Uh, boost the hero damage up to nearby heroes can all be boosted. This would be really cool to eventually get for like my Barbarian. Um, obviously not super good for my, you know, my current Squire build, but kind of cool for the Barbarian later on. Okay, you absolutely know that I want myself that flying cat. So we added that over to our goals page right here. Next up, I definitely also want the flying monkey. <laughs> so how do you get this? The cowboy monkey. What an awesome pet. Uh, the Karithki jungle wave 15 or a jungle wave 25 console. You have to be PlayStation Plus. That's hilarious. Um, okay, this should be totally fine for me then. I'm going to go ahead and also put cowboy. Let's just do fly monkey as well because otherwise it's going to get too complicated. Uh, Wrath jungle wave 15. That kind of fits. There you go. That's a bit better. K jungle wave 15 for the flying monkey. Next up is the uh, Jinlet. I don't super care about that. I'm not going to... I know that's a mob that we now see in Nightmare difficulty. I saw it for a split second before it obliterated me before, uh, but I'm not going to worry about it for the time being. You know that I want a pet rock. Let's go. Tell me how to get it. Uh, Taverly Mining Complex beat the final wave on any difficulty 30. Wave 30. Oh, man. Okay, I went back and renamed all the pets so I can actually search for them appropriately uh, and see like where I actually need to do them. So I don't have to, like look up the wiki again to look these up later. Uh, so we're going to do that. It's okay if it runs off screen. It's not really a big deal. The dice. Uh, I definitely want that as well. Dice. Uh, Kings game. We're going to write Kings game wave 25 i could even separate these uh in terms of survival and stuff so like these are very very specific goals we'll go ahead and section this off as survival pets uh there we go so now we have pets to collect we have these two we have survival pets and then this section trying to make it remain readable at all times but there we go we also have the cold the cobalt on treadmill is definitely Definitely, definitely, definitely uh, something I want to achieve. Tavern defense or a TT general. What does tavern defense have in mind? What do we see here? Is this just some sort of... Uh, oh, I see. Tavern defense. Ah, yes. It's the level where you have to defend the tavern keep. Like, it's like essentially spawns in the tavern, I assume, as a map. Yeah, that's that's pretty crazy. Um, I would love to do that. That's a very cool endgame goal. You have to get to wave 35 for that. That'll be very, very... That's like... I love all of the treadmill pets. We've got Cobalt on a treadmill, Skeleton on a treadmill. These definitely both get added. Okay, we've got that taken care of. Moving on, we have the Mega Chicken. Okay, come on. You know I want it. Tell me how to get it. Tinkerer's Lab. <laughs> there's so many things. Oh, there's just so many things to collect, fellas. I'm going to be playing Dungeon Defenders until I'm 80 years old and can have arthritis and can barely build my towers. I'm definitely that guy who sets way too many goals, and I may not always be able to achieve all of them, but I always have something to do, and it always keeps me busy. 
And I'm always making my damn best progress towards them, even if I know I'll never be able to achieve everything one day. So we'll go ahead and add Mega Chicken, uh, Tinkerer's Lab, Wave 35. That'll be important. A lot of, like, those later wave completing survivals on a lot of tough maps. I also want the battle droid, but this seems to be completed in the same exact way um, as... Well, you also can get the moon as a pet. Moon base, wave 35. I, I mean, we've got to add them. Battle droid, moon. That's just hilarious to type. Um, so the battle droid you get... Get on the way to mega chicken or moon so you get that on the way so that's like a you have to get battle droid if you're going for either of those uh and then moon is obviously moon base wave 35 i'm excited to finally play moon base i hope that i like the map the scary thing is disliking uh some of these maps that you need for just like just not liking the design not liking how the the locations the choke points whatever it may be the scary thing is not liking the maps uh when you have to grind for such a long amount of time all right these are lost quest survival pets i'm gonna scroll through these a bit faster mr al Polly, pirate on a treadmill okay the well here we go now i'm now there's some stuff that i'm interested i was like you know the birds whatever not really for me pirate on a treadmill level requirements beat buccaneer bay on wave 35 oh man uh pirate on a treadmill we'll do that and i definitely want to do sea turtle on a treadmill as well for sure all right i'm now going to be moving the list down just to keep things a little more particular and kind of section our goals so we're gonna be looking at survival pets only for a sec or we'll just scroll down and do all pets only so we're currently at sea turtle on a treadmill next up is the ember pony a pretty cool looking horse honestly ember mount volcano it's very very cool looking uh i'm not gonna worry about it for the time being i think um however anamorphic ember Ember Mount Volcano Wave 40. I mean, that's... Come on, man. You're giving me too much cool stuff to shoot for. Level 100 pet. These pets are exclusive to on Redux. All maps. Okay, so... This should be fine to be able to play. It says, like, there is... You know, in Redux, there's different... It's crazy how they mention all the Redux. It's just so different. It's a different game. It's so interesting. Anamorphic Ember. The hilarious thing is, like, I'm going to end up getting the pony on accident but the main which is kind of cool but the main thing i care about here is the anapromor anam yep you know what i'm saying the ember that is really 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 cool uh this is just such an interesting pet uh ember mount ember mount volcano what is it wave 40 the f that's the highest survival wave i've seen so far all right continuing on a desert goblin not really a pet i care about mini spider queen and crystal core <laughs> yeah you know i want these all right, for both of those pets, you need Wave 35 on different DLCs. We'll get to that when we get to that. Uh, Crystalline Dragon continues that sort of DLC trend and is a really cool pet, but I'm not going to worry about it for the time being. Maybe I'll change my tune on that. Now, here we get to some cool stuff and some stuff that I've been kind of trying to hide in the background, okay? Dungeon Defenders has so much holiday content we can see snowman stuff we see the turkey stuff coming up i am so excited i'm playing dungeon defenders at the perfect time i'm gonna be trying my best to do on theme stuff during halloween throughout october i probably should start pretty soon from this episode maybe after this episode we start that um halloween themed stuff uh thanksgiving themed you know uh maps and everything christmas themed maps i'm super excited to do that i feel like it's fun to play into the holiday times and that'll be a blast it's gonna be kind of tough to write all of these down so we see turkey on a treadmill okay we only need to write down turkey on a treadmill or we're gonna write down all of them the mini snowman the treadmill, the treadmill but all of those come from if i just get the turkey on a treadmill that will give me um all three of these pets and that's how I'll go ahead and denote this with these double dashes so I know they're kind of like a mini section of the turkey on a treadmill and I'll get them along the way. I'll go ahead and go up and do the same with Battle Droid as well. Continuing on, how much could possibly, how much more content could this game possibly have? And by the way, we're just looking at pets, have you? I still want to look at weapons and stuff like that. It's going to be a long episode of just planning. I know, boring for some, fun for some. I think it's a good way to give you guys ideas as well for you to figure out what your end game goals might want to be. I'm a pet hunter. Maybe you're not. Stick around for straight gear here in a little bit now the harpoon you, you know i want this you know i absolutely want it's one of my it's probably my favorite i think yeah my favorite tower 
in all of Dungeon Defenders is probably the Harpoon Pet. Or har probably the Harpoon, like be my favorite tower. Uh, so, you know, I absolutely have to go ahead and add that to my list for sure. Uh, the other ones, do I really care about that? The like Mage Tower Pet. Uh, the mini mech is actually kind of cool though. Um, kind of cool. Is it cool enough for me? Honestly, probably not. The Wasp Pet is also kind of interesting. I don't know how easy this is. Um, the level requirement being not applicable is a little scary. Uh, Mini Wasp Queen. None of these are really speaking to me. Little Wizard, kind of cool, but like none of these are worth putting on my on my list so far. Um, however, Pumpkin Pirate on a Treadmill. You know how to speak to me, Dungeon Defenders. We can add that to the list. Easy peasy. Everybody knows I want to go for that. So let's go on the Unicorn. Nah, it's fine. Navi. This is actually a really cool looking pet. Wow. Um, special Gift of Life death defying i really want to know what this means does this mean that you can't die does it mean you get like one revive per wave what does this entail let's do a little more research into this specific pet to figure out if i want it or not uh the navi fairy pet is rewarded after completing survival wave 30 on life stream uh, a death defying effect called gift of life when the hero takes lethal damage they will instantly instantly be revived to 50 percent hp and become invi uh, invincible for two seconds gift of life has an x cooldown seconds before it can be triggered again i definitely want that that's a really cool pet um something that i haven't really talked about at all is dungeon defenders pvp and it's very possible that there's just no reason to talk about it. It's very possible that PvP is dead. Nobody really does PvP. How am I going to PvP? I'm way too weak, yada, yada. I don't even know if I'm going to PvP. But the, the idea of having a character built for PvP is very fun for me. Even if I don't PvP. I actually kind of talked about this in, uh, in Pokemon. I think collecting competitive Pokemon, if you're familiar with Pokemon at all, collecting competitive Pokemon is a fun activity to do, even if you don't enjoy playing PvP. And I kind of always encourage that. So this is kind of similar to that, where I kind of want to collect or build a PvP build for a, uh, for a, for a character, even if I don't play PvP. I think it's a cool goal to shoot for and a fun thing to achieve. All right, next up is Nature's Griffin. This is just a Mona Lisa painting. A Mona Lisa painting as a pet in a video game you know i've got to go for it now you may ask me retro pet why do you want a mona lisa pet why do you care about that are you like an art fan uh do you care about art uh no not at all i don't have an eye for art by any means um but i do have an eye for stupid silly things as pets in video games what other reason do you need all right, before moving on to challenge reward pets, that is the end of survival pets. That's actually kind of cool that we kind of finish off that section. I'll actually go ahead and uh, make a new one, challenge pets. Um, but let's go ahead and go through and see how many pets that we want to collect already. So we have treadmill and treadmill pets number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, I believe 24 pets. Honestly, that's actually way less than I expected. <laughs> that's actually kind of reasonable. Maybe I'm dumb. Maybe I'm just copium because I think I have way too much time in my hands when I'm already out of time. Um, 24 pets. Honestly, that's just reasonable. Let's, con let's add some more to that list, actually. It's way too few. All right, moving on to the challenge pets. We have the rainbow unicorn. Not something I'm super interested in. Uh, moving on to goblin cupid. Now, that is actually something I'm definitely uh, interested in. Now, also... It becomes a question of, do I really need to note down really any of these? I probably do. You could argue I don't have to since these are all of the challenges, and I do kind of want to complete all the challenges for the achievements and everything. Um, but you know what? For the time being, we're going to go ahead and write this stuff down. It can kind of count as two accomplishments, two goals completed for the price of one. So our first challenge pet that I actually care about being the Goblin Cupid, uh, gotten from just completing Sky of Love, that's super fair. Moving on, we've got the Democrat Donkey and Republican Elephant, okay, uh, not really gonna be interested in either of those. Let's just go ahead, say that, and move on. Uh, next up, we've got the Mummy, uh, Tomb of Etheria is how you get this. Kind of a cool looking pet, uh, giving a Moo Moo vibes for sure. We've also got Mini Kraken down there. I... <sighs> I, I love the idea. I love Kraken pets. I love the idea of a Kraken. I'm going to be honest. I don't love the look of this Kraken pet specifically. Um, actually, it does look a lot cooler closer up, but 
think it's a little too small, a little too, it's just not really for me. If it was more colorful, maybe like an orange or yellow type Kraken, think of uh, old school RuneScape Kraken boss, I'd be way more interested in my opinion. But the mummy, I kind of am down to go for. Uh, we'll go ahead and add that over to our list. All right, next up, now we have Achievement Reward Pets. We'll go ahead and make a, a section for this as well. We'll just call it Achievement Pets. So there was only two challenge pets. Obviously, it makes a lot of sense. I'm a survival guy. I want to do all the survival pets. I don't necessarily need all of the other pets. So it's kind of a good thing to not want a bunch of pets in every single zone. Um, unlock all non-DLC achievements in the original game, the Chicken Familiar. That'll just kind of passively happen. I'm already going for the Mega Chicken. I don't think I need to write that down personally. Continuing on, this is very cool. Uh, Kine, Kane, this is a very cool looking demon to me. Now this is unlocked by completing the legendary defender achievement. The question is, how difficult is that achievement to get? Let's go ahead and look over it. Required uh, meta achievement that is unlocked upon earning all other achievements in the base game. After being unlocked, the players were rewarded with the chicken pet, the blah, crystal skin, yada, yada. Legendary achievement. Okay, let's see. Uh, complete all areas. Level one, we did that. Is this completing everything? Okay, completing everything, all levels on insane difficulty. That's step one. Uh, okay, easy peasy. Complete all levels with four active players on medium difficulty. I could do that with the emulator. Okay, uh, see all four heroes. Okay, this is all pretty easy so far. This I can definitely do. Uh, and then you have a bunch of challenges. Uh, no towers allowed on the heroes, warping core, raining goblins. Okay, there's a lot of challenges. Wow, and a lot more here. Okay, man, this does require a lot more than I expected. Okay, this is one of those things where it's like, do I want to go for this pet? Yes, but do I need to write it down? You know what? I think I am. Um, I didn't expect to really... like. I think I think it's worth noting. It's something I'll passively get over time, but I think it's uh it's it's enough to where it's worth noting to remember that I want to go for the uh, legendary achievement in my opinion. All right, next up is the portal cube from Portal. I don't know how, how do you get this one time reward for finishing all of the original challenges on Nightmare with Hardcore. <laughs> that is so. Uh, you know I want it, dude. I love Portal. I Portal One and Portal Two are are some of those games. Um, not that I've played them more than others, but it's one of those games that I always recommend to pretty much anybody. Uh, if someone came up to me and said, Hey, I've never played a single video game before. What game should I play? I think portal one and two is a really good recommendation. I think portal one and two are games that literally everybody should play. No matter if you're like a gamer at all, or just like a suburban mom, I, I, I truly believe, uh, that portal one and two are just games for everybody. They're like such incredible experiences and I, I really recommend them. And then we've got pets obtained in non-conventional ways. A small diamond obtained 44 coal by completing the doo -doo -doo. diamond obtained 88 coal. I'm down to go for this on nightmare difficulty. These are pretty interesting. Um, I'm going to write down. Okay, let's do other pets. First things first. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put uh, diamonds. I'll do both of them. Um, and I will have to just check back for these in the future. And that's totally okay. Uh, obtain coal by completing Xmas levels. That is going to be what I'm going to write for this personally. I think that'll be enough. And I can check back the exact numbers in the maps uh, in the future if I really need to. Oh my god, there is a turtle on a treadmill. That is, <laughs> that's an incredible pet. Uh, that has gotten through completing a hidden puzzle. Dude, I have to look way more into these, like, hidden puzzle Easter egg. This gives me, like, hard, like, zombies vibes from Call of Duty, sort of, like, completing those puzzles while, like, fighting off the waves of zombies. That's super interesting to me. I was never really into those as a kid, but honestly, now that I've gotten older, I feel like those are even more desirable. So complete the hidden puzzle. This says level requirement 30. So I might be able to do that actually like pretty, I might be able to do that now, which would be really, really cool. I'm going to go ahead and copy paste that and just add that over to the list for the time being. We'll keep uh, continuing on. Fish in a bowl. You know, I want this. Complete the hidden puzzle in moon. Okay. It should be pretty easy to add. We'll go ahead and do this. And then copy over the same thing. Uh, complete that map. Complete moon. The hidden puzzle on moon base. Treadmill on a treadmill I already have uh, marked down. But I am going to go ahead and copy how you get that. And add that to the very top of the list where I went ahead and put that. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, I could uh, I could honestly just go ahead and put like these pets. Uh, we'll go ahead and put... 
we'll put the treadmill on the treadmill at least the squire anime thing is probably one of the shorter term goals we can actually shoot for and then this we can go ahead and put the treadmill on a treadmill down here at the very bottom list one of the hardest ones to get uh and save the notepad duck which i haven't saved in a sec then we've got some really cool exclusive pets some of these i might have access to these pets are given to the player as incentive for purchasing the game from a particular online distributor. Like, I, I bought TF2 uh, before it became free-to-play. So I don't know if you have to do that to get these, but I, I did do that back in, like, you know, 2011 or whatever the year was. Um, I went ahead and have those. Pre-order bonus. That's really crazy. Um, wow. That you got a pre-order bonus. Wow, I've never... That's super interesting. I wonder how... Question mark, it says. It says pre-order pets, question mark up here. That's crazy. I wonder how rare these are. I've never, that's, wow. Okay, anyways, moving on. Amazon. There was an Amazon pre, what? I wonder if those are like from a different dungeon. I don't know. Anyways, we'll move on. Uh, Redux pets. So these are from the uh, extra expansion, which is, yeah, interesting. Okay, I'm not going to worry about the Redux pets since I'm not playing the Redux, but this is a cool one. This uh, like arcade machine. That's really cool. Uh, we can like look through them to see what's cool, but I don't plan on adding any of these to my list since once again, I'm not playing Redux personally. This will be Radioactive Diamond. Interesting. Okay, there we go. That is all of the pets looked through, completed, and made goals for. All right. I, for one, did not expect it to take that long just to make general goals and sort of pet goals. Uh, I am going to end up separating this into multiple videos, which I didn't expect to do, so I apologize for that, but I think it's been long enough and entertaining enough. It'll be good to break it up as well, so next episode will not be just another goal-setting episode. It'll actually be a gameplay episode, and then we'll weave in some goal-setting episodes in between. Uh, we actually want to go start working on those goals, right? Uh, so... First things first, let's go ahead and actually go through. We'll recap everything. So our goals set this episode were to achieve level 100, at least on our Squire, uh, solve the mystery in the upstairs, complete the campaign on insane difficulty, complete the campaign on nightmare difficulty, reach 15 mil mana in the short term for the achievement, and then 100 mil mana, uh, complete all challenge maps, complete the DLC, specifically the Misty Mire Forest DLC, uh, play every character at least once, get four characters, the original four characters at least to level 70, uh, get to wave 15 survival on all maps moving on we have our pets to collect we have the square uh sorry squire anime type pet that'll be pretty honestly i might go for that semi soon uh we've got survival pets here we've got nessie uh, by doing deeper well on wave 25 we've got the propeller cat the cowboy monkey the pet rock the dice the kobold on treadmill the skeleton on treadmill the mega chicken the battle droid the moon pet the pirate on treadmill the sea turtle on a treadmill the anamorphic em ember the mini spider queen the crystal core the turkey on a treadmill the mini snowman, the Xmas elephant, the harpoon pet, the pumpkin pirate on a treadmill, the Navi pet, which gives you that uh, revive, uh, nature's griffin, which is just, uh, you know, the Mona Lisa, uh, challenge pets, we have the goblin cupid, the mummy, the achievement pets being Kane, the weighted companion cube, and then we have the diamond pet, turtle on a treadmill, fish in a bowl, and treadmill on a treadmill. And then for short-term goals, we simply have reach wave 15 on a hard survival map, which is probably what I'll be working on next episode. Uh, maybe even going for that anime Squire pet. Thank you guys so much for watching a long and different style of Dungeon Defenders video. I know this may not be for everybody, but I think it's important. I think it's really important to talk about end game stuff and game goals. It's really what keeps people playing and keeps people interested. I know it helps for me, and I'm sure it hopefully helps for some of you guys out there. If you enjoyed this style of video, make sure to let me know in the comments. Make sure to like the video, dislike if not, uh, and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with daily Dungeon Defenders videos that I've been working on and cooking up. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and play some dang Dungeon Defenders today.